Have you ever struggled to keep your characters consistent throughout your story? You're not alone. I faced the same challenge for weeks, but I found a solution. In today's video, I'll show you how to create characters that remain consistent from start to finish. Whether you're writing a storybook or creating an animated video, this guide is for you. And the tool we are using today is ChatGPT, a very popular AI tool. After logging into ChatGPT, go to the Explore GPT section on the left sidebar. Then type Consistent Character in the search bar. Choose the most popular model, which is Consistent Character GPT Fast and High Quality. This model is an excellent tool for creating characters with consistent poses, expressions, and scenes. You don't need to enter complex commands. Once you click, click here to start, the model will immediately guide you through the character design process. First, choose the gender of your character. The character in my story is female, so I'll select female. After choosing the gender, the next step is to name your character. Naming your character helps the AI connect the details you'll input later, ensuring consistency from start to finish. Here my character name is Zuka. After naming your character, the next step is to describe their details. This is crucial for maintaining consistency. Here on the screen, we have character's details clearly outlined, age, country, hair, and outfit. These four aspects are crucial in keeping your character's appearance consistent. Remember, providing specific and clear details not only helps the AI create a consistent character, but also ensures that you have a strong visual reference as you continue your story. Let's go ahead and input all these details for our character. Age. Be specific about the age to help the AI visualize the character's size. Age can substitute for describing height and weight. Country. This helps the AI understand the character's skin tone, facial features, and other cultural and geographical traits. For example, specifying that the character is from the USA might suggest a fair skin tone, blue eyes, and a high nose, while a character from Japan might have a lighter skin tone, dark brown eyes, and straight black hair. Providing the country helps the AI generate characters with accurate and consistent appearances. Hair. Describe the hair color, style, and length. For example, curly brown hair that reaches the hips. It's important to be specific about the hair length. If you only describe it as long, the AI might generate varying lengths, sometimes shoulder length, sometimes mid-back, and other times down to the hips. Outfit. Provide details on color, size, material, and style. For example, she's dressed in a knee-length soft pink cotton dress with short sleeves paired with smooth white leather shoes. To ensure the highest consistency, I recommend avoiding accessories or patterned clothing as AI may generate different patterns each time. Now, let's see an example of how to describe a character in detail to ensure consistency. Meet our character a five-year-old girl from Brazil with long curly brown hair that reaches her hips. She's dressed in a knee-length soft pink cotton dress with short sleeves paired with smooth white leather shoes. Now, we come back to ChatGPT, input all the details we've provided, and see what happens. As we review the first generated image of Suka, we can see that most of the details are correct. However, it looks like the shoes are not matching the description we provided. They're supposed to be smooth, white leather, but they appear to be brown. Let's go ahead and update the prompt to be more specific. First, we'll click on the Edit Prompt button. I'll add bright white to describe the shoes more clearly and mention that there should be no patterns or accessories. After updating the prompt, I'll click on Submit to generate a new image and see if the changes are reflected. This updated version of Suka looks like an improvement the details are getting closer to what we want. If you're still not satisfied, you can continue refining the character by clicking on Edit Prompt and making further adjustments. On the other hand, if you prefer the previous version, you can click on the Undo button to revert to that image. So I'm going to stick with version 2.
Now you can create actions, expressions, or poses for your character to bring them to life. It's as simple as following this syntax. Start with the character's name, followed by the action, pose, or expression you want them to perform. If you prefer a certain style, like 3D animation, you can add that too. And don't forget, you can also specify the aspect ratio, such as 69, to ensure your image fits perfectly with your project. For example, Suka is walking in the garden, aspect ratio 16, 9. Now we can see the character in a specific context. Here's Suka walking in the garden with consistent features and clothing. Amazing, isn't it? Now let's try a different action for Suka. This time I'll have her sitting on a bench in the park. To do this, I'll simply type Suka is sitting on a bench in the park, aspect ratio 16.9. This will position her in a new environment while maintaining the same visual style and aspect ratio. And here we have Suka sitting on a bench in the park. The AI has done a great job placing her in this serene environment while keeping the consistent style we wanted. This shows how easily you can create varied scenes by simply changing the action in the prompt. Creating consistent characters can be simple and powerful with the right tools. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your creative projects.